Europe. These were like premium floor mats. Um, they, I think they were only available in the European market, but or Japanese market, one of the two. Mm. Um, so I got those just to complement that. But wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of titanium. <laughs> I love what you've done with the titanium pieces here and there. Thank you, it thank you. Works, man. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, so tell us, man, what are we starting at? So, I got a lot going on in here. Uh, <laughs> but to start off up front, we got a um, Chasing J's full titanium um, cooling plate. Chasing J's hardware all around. Um, radiator stays. Uh, Mugen intake. Um, to a origin fabrication uh, intake arm, um, fully custom arm that he, he basically it's made to order. So um, these are specifically made for these uh, intakes. Then I have a rye wire um, dual core radiator um, with a um, Renegade Motorsports Overflow um, reservoir. Reservoir, yeah. And then I got a origin fabrication catch can to um, to basically I have AN lines run into the custom valve cover that I actually made um, so if you look on the normal AP1s they have a PCV valve up there mm -hmm. um, we actually shaved that down um, welded on a couple AN fittings and then cleaned it up because um, there used to be two AN fittings here but kind of shaved those off relocated them over there um, I like the subtleness of it um, so and then we got you know tried chasing J's coil cover um, oil cap you name it his catalog on this car I pretty much have <laughs> um, and then we have an ASM strut bar that I just put on a couple days ago wow. um, took a while to get here but worth the wait I think um, this Chasing J's titanium cross member cover. Um, yeah, it's pretty busy in here, but I love it. The internals are stock? Yeah, stock internals mm -hmm. for now. Um, it's more than enough for you. Yeah, man. Like I said uh, earlier, the, the, right out of the, right out of the um, factory, these, these things have plenty of power for me. Um, what are the future plans for the engine compartment? Uh, future plans, I do plan on going uh, forced induction. Uh, down the road <laughs> uh, yeah go. down the road I, I do want I, I'm not gonna go turbo I want to go supercharger um, probably a science of speed kit because those things are proven to make power and they're reliable. yeah they're reliable bolt-on you don't have to cut anything um, make adjustments or anything it's just on and off so those are the plans but like I said that's that's down down the road a little bit so I want to enjoy the car as it is right now because like I said I, I don't really take this out as much as I would like but um, yeah that's the only future plans and I do have a, uh, a new catch can coming in actually um, made by the same guy origin fab it's just um, these two together so it's a catch can and an overflow in one so oh, no way. yeah so it replaces this uh, unit um, it kind of it uses stock location so that's what I like about his his stuff um, it kind of replaces this whole setup so oh wow that's very really cool yeah so it's pretty cool what mirrors are they? Uh, MR Racing MR Racing yeah so they're MR Racing um, stock S2000s on the door they have um, the mirrors coming off the doors but I ended up shaving those oh, when nice. I had the car painted um, so I just moved the, the mirrors up there those I've always wanted the mirrors like that on an S2000 I don't know why um, I just don't like that's not my style with the, the aftermarket mirrors that bolt to the stock location. I don't mm. know what it is. Alrighty, man. Well, thank you so much for taking the time and showing us this amazing S2000. I, thank you. There was a lot. I'm a, 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 I mean, um, there was a lot of different things that if you hadn't pointed out, I would have noticed. And that's a good thing. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. That's <laughs> definitely a good thing. That means that you're doing it right. And, thank you. And thank it was you. well executed that, it, you know, you have to really pay attention. So um, thank you. Any future plans that you may have forgotten about and any shout outs? Um, I do plan on, you know, adding a few exterior carbon pieces, maybe here and there. Um, front splitter, maybe Voltex rear diffuser, possibly down the line. Um, 
supercharger like we mentioned but other than that i mean i i, lo I love the car how it is right now and i do want to enjoy it uh drive it uh to multiple meets and stuff but yeah other than that no future plans um shout outs uh, i do want to mention num first and foremost uh, my as one family um that's the only sticker you'll notice on my car um norman hayes those guys actually took me under their wing um i was five years ago so uh, five six years ago um without them i don't think i would be into hondas <laughs> as much as i am now they kind of showed me the way and and uh yeah love them for them